My name is Mayra Velasquez. I am a senior here at Eastern Washington University. I am from Mount Vernon, Washington, and I'm a double major in economics and urban and regional planning. In addition to my schoolwork here, I also serve as a staff sergeant in the Army Reserves. And I served for almost two years at Latinos in Spokane. I created what is now known as Emprendete Business Center. Latinos in Spokane is a nonprofit here in Spokane that's meant to empower BIPOC and low income people here in the area. Our business center is focusing on getting folks that are currently in the gray area of the economic cycle involved. This means folks that you normally see selling tamales out of a corner of a strip mall to get their proper business license to slowly work on what it is to be a business person here in the United States. I have always been a patriot, especially through military service, and this is a way that I see that I could continue serving my country. I utilized my background in GIS and the Armors Reserves and put a skill that the Army taught me into use here in the civilian world. I put all of the numbers that you see in the census into data that's able to tell a story to people about the situation of Latinos here in Spokane. We are at a space where we're not empowered. Um, we're business owners that aren't business owners on paper. We're renting in apartments or living in mobile homes. We're not in a capacity right now to establish generational wealth. And that was part of behind the intent of establishing a business center. Receiving the Governor's Student Civic Leadership Award feels surreal. I think it's important to recognize folks that do that work in the community because the work often goes unseen. It's a lot of work each and every day that's thankless, that you do it for the best of the community, for the future of your community. It's also important for folks that don't do the work to also see the work that's being done and the work that still needs to be done. I know the work that needs to be done, but oftentimes our policymakers don't. Our other community members that live comfortably, they also don't realize that this is work that needs to be done. It is working one step at a time, doing what needs to be done in the community, helping others be empowered, helping others receive an education in areas where they normally didn't receive any guidance or training, and offering support in the community.